Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bulletproof Underwear, episode number 91. Ah! Yeah, yeah, baby, 91. Right. 91 of them. All right, so I'm your co-host, Yam Juice. I'm your co-host, Flex. 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 <laughs> and I've had and too many pain pills. Flex is high as a kite right now. <laughs> his toes aren't touching the ground. <laughs> And we have a uh, we have as our guest today, Mr. T Gizzle four two three, as we've had him on the show before. Hey T. Hey. <laughs> and we've got Mr. Arik Nova in the house again. What's All going right. on, Nova? Hello. Uh, I actually don't see you, Yam. It's kind of just a uh, a black black stream of just the uh, loading bar for me today. Oh, okay. Well, I can see me. Uh, how about you guys? You're frozen. Oh uh, yeah, you're frozen for me. Oh god damn it! <laughs> okay, technical difficulties here. I'm going to turn off my camera and turn it back on. TD TD. Okay. Touch down. <laughs> turn okay. to Diana. <coughs> there you okay. go. Well, no, no, now I just see his oh. uh, profile picture. Yeah, same here. Nice. There we go. Now it's spinning. It's spinning. 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 I'm getting okay, dizzy. There, there, there you okay, go. Okay, stop all this spinning. <laughs> okay, yeah. There it is. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, while you were away, we were, uh, you know, anyway, so. <laughs> while you were so, away, we gave away a million dollars. And if you stay tuned, you might win a million dollars later in the episode. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Chevrolet. Tegel, uh, uh, Bulletproof Underwear has a brand new sponsor. It's uh, Chevy, and we're, we're really ha- glad to have them on board. Everybody, give a big hand for Chevrolet. You know, uh, we, we really don't. Don't, don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. Okay, today our sponsor is Coca Cola. Hold that up. Hold that up, Nova. Yeah, Coca Cola. It's the real, the real thing. Uh, it's not, the real not the, thing. Not the glucose shit, the actual sugar. Good Costco. stuff. The good stuff from Costco. <laughs> now, you guys probably don't remember this because you probably weren't actually alive, but uh, back when Bill Cosby was shilling for New Coke, do you remember that? Or did you hear lo- legendary tales of it? Nope. Flex, you remember New Coke? New yes. Coke? Yes, I do. We've changed the taste of Coke. Oh, is that what everyone kind of like freaked out about it? They, they changed the formula. They literally right. changed the formula, and everybody had fucking cases <coughs> about it, man. Oh, it did not go over so well changed, at all. So people bought cases and cases of classic Coke. That's why, for a while, you had what they called your classic Coke and your new Coke. Yeah, yeah. New Coke was uh, the new formula, and classic Coke was, was the new Coke, but it was the old Coke. <laughs> right. Well, well I only they- like Coke that has real sugar. I don't like the Coke that's, like... That they just sell everywhere. It's high really fructose like corn part. syrup. Yeah, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> or not? It doesn't taste special. I guess is the best way to put it. Did, didn't well, they like so, do that though to like make people try to buy Coke more? Because like, like, I remember hearing something about that that they changed the format, but then they changed it back for like to get people excited about Coke again, like some kind of like yeah, it could have just been a gimmick. It was a well, of a city stunt. Yeah, it might have just been to get to get buzz. I don't know. And they did oh, yeah. get buzz. It was like a brouhaha, you know, a big yeah. thing. It was like, remember, this might be, I might be dating myself here too. Remember Clear Clear Pepsi and Clear Coke? Oh, yeah. 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 Well, you know, it's it's not while, brown. It's had, not brown because it has to be brown. They just, said, just, they just left the dye out and left it clear. That's and, weird. <laughs> and everybody was like, everybody's like, so it's clear. I can't handle it. I can't <laughs> handle clear Coke. Oh no! That's really well. That would be really weird. It just look like water. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it didn't sell very well. Well, it's like yeah, Sprite or Seven Up. I mean, they have no color. Well, this. I may wonder why they me, chose Nova. this color. Well, this may this may date me, Nova. But Nova, do you remember the first episode of SpongeBob? Uh, yeah, I, I do. <laughs> That's about as far as my memory goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so tell us about SpongeBob. Uh, Nickelodeon cartoon. Yeah, well, I know about SpongeBob. My I like SpongeBob. Show as a kid. Yeah, most people. It's like 
It looks me know, fun. Me know we're the same age, so like I just figured like I just throw something that they does. We we both uh turn eighteen this year, so yeah, he, I love yeah. SpongeBob. Yeah, he turned so what's, in January. So, but so I'm what's your turned. birthday, Nova? January fourteenth, nineteen ninety. Mine's January thirteenth. Mine's the sixteenth. Oh, really? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. I'm surrounded by April. <laughs> All these Capricorns, man, it's getting stinky. Yeah. I'm a January fourteenth was my dad's birthday. Also, that's pretty cool, Nova. Wow, what a trip. That's interesting. Yeah. So, wait, that's interesting though, because my dad is born a day after um, my my youngest brother. Uh, but January, so my dad's born on January eighth, and then my younger, my youngest brother was born January seventh. So, wow. So, so you guys, uh, when you turn eighteen, you know what you should do is go to a casino. Well, Noah's <laughs> already eighteen; he can go to a casino. Yeah, not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Too much yeah. stuff going on around me. <laughs> so you're eighteen; you're a grown man. So if you commit a crime, you'll you'll definitely yeah, go to full fuck. adult prison. <laughs> you'll be well, trained I mean, as like, an adult now. Yeah, you can well, be tried as an adult. It's like. Like, yeah. like from like from like fourteen. Especially in the state yeah. of New York, they don't really give a shit how old you are. Yeah, and it depends on the, but it does depend on the crime though. But like basically, if you commit any kind of murder and you're like a teenager, you're going to be tried as an adult. If so, how many murders have you guys gotten away with? Oh, so many. Uh, so, <laughs> so many dead Spartans. If it's, yeah. heinous, if it's heinous, virtual murders. If it's heinous enough, they'll charge you with murder. They don't care. Yeah. Old or... I mean, there was like an eight-year-old kid a few years back who like killed his father and he's still. In <laughs> he's in jail for the rest of his life. That's wow. crazy. He's Man. eight, though. Well, now now he's like fourteen or something. I know, but like, how can you like really like charge an eight year old with life? I don't know. He was a douchebag, I guess. <laughs> I know, but like, <laughs> yeah, fuck that eight year old, man. <laughs> you're not, but you're not like anywhere near mentally developed enough to like realize how bad that really is. Actually, though. I think I got the story wrong. I don't think he killed his father. I think he killed a baby like a baby sibling well, so that's still like got kids, more media people. yeah i don't know world's a fucked up place well you know it's like uh man kill, kill the baby because it was easy was killing his dad would be probably a lot harder i was twice your age before i figured that out man <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> i figured that out when i was like six <laughs> okay so so have you ever thought if, if you're gonna commit if you're gonna commit murder you know people who get caught they always, you know, fall into the same couple of traps. So the way that you get caught, you know, murdering, getting cocky. Well, first of all, you can't. You have to do it yourself. Number one, you can't hire somebody. You can't yeah. get somebody else to do it because they'll talk. Eventually, <laughs> they'll talk or they'll spill yeah. the beans. Number two, and this is the most important one of all, you have to keep your trap shut. Don't tell your girlfriend. Don't tell your wife. Don't tell your best friend. Don't tell anybody ever. Forty years, fifty years down the road, don't ever tell anybody that you did it. Well, isn't there a statute of limitation where, like, after a certain amount of years, I don't know if maybe not with murder, probably not with murder, where yeah, after a certain amount of time, it does, you can't be charged with anything. Yeah, but see, people always always screw that up. They tell somebody. Yeah, and then, definitely and then, lawyer up as well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then the and then the last rule of thumb to commit murder and get away with it. This is Yam Juice's guide to murder for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> murder for make dummies. A book. <laughs> it's like when you when you kill the person, leaves the murder weapon at the scene. If it's a gun, <laughs> if it's a knife, if it's a lead pipe, whatever it is, like leave it at the scene. Make sure there's no fingerprints on it, but just leave it there. That's right. That's how they catch people because they they catch you with the murder weapon. Yeah. Or somebody sees you discard it, or something. If you leave the murder weapon there, then they got nothing. But it's a few a years nice fun. <laughs> <laughs> a few years ago, I had uh, a chemistry teacher who also teaches forensics in my high school, and uh, she was positive that she could get away with murdering someone, and I'm pretty sure she could because she had like blood splatter things on her wall. Like, she, she has some weird-ass projects that she did, and it was all over her science room. There was one thing where there was, like, a sheet of paper uh, that was laminated, and according to her, it, she, like, I guess bled herself or something, and then put the blood in her mouth and spit it against the wall as, like, a blood splatter analysis sort of lesson. So she had her <laughs> blood splattered on a wall in her classroom and that was normal. I was the only one freaked out by it. I don't know 
if I'm the crazy <laughs> one, but I don't have blood on my wall. Oh, well, man. there's time. There's plenty of time to change that. You know, you got a razor blade back in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 that is pretty weird. That's yeah, kind of bizarre. Like a weird person. <laughs> That's kind of bizarre. Is is she like really into Dexter or something? Uh, you would think. I, I'm not sure. Uh, she, I Jackie. remember. She the only reason she didn't like uh, the Avengers movie. She came to school and just volunteered this information. Uh, was that she, uh, Chris Hemsworth, or Thor, didn't take his shirt off in the, in the Avengers. So she didn't like the movie. And she's like this <laughs> old lady, so it's just, it was just an awkward conversation. <laughs> she wanted to see his, see, she wanted to see his abs and his chest. Man. Yeah. <laughs> like, so she liked up. the Thor movie, but not, not the Avengers, because he didn't take his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> she's cool. Yeah, she's weird. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're Thor baby. Yeah. So what's, what's the deal nickname. with that? What's well, that? I'm I'm pretty big compared to a lot of people, and I used to have long blonde hair, and with short kind of blonde hair. Uh, so people just started calling me Thor and the son of Thor. So I'm Thor's baby, and he's got a baby face. Yeah, yeah, it's a baby face. <laughs> <laughs> so so how I. big are you? Are you like a are you like a big tall guy? Are you well, buff? I'm six foot but i'm just like <laughs> i don't know stronger looking than everyone like i don't work out or anything but i just have natural muscle all right let's see the guns okay. you got tone uh, let's let's see what you got here not much <laughs> that's, that's not bad there. that's not bad you got the you got that big ass forearm kind of yeah, thing yeah my leg muscle is where it is because i'm a skier so my calves are huge I was yeah. actually born with uh, that crease that comes into your calf muscle because you have a lot of muscle. So that freaked out my parents. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you should maybe you should uh, get on the roids and really pump it up and see what you can do. <laughs> yeah, there's a kid in my school who like takes supplements and he just has balloon arms. It's really fucking weird. Oh yeah, he, he, he brags just... about it. It, 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 it. No, just stop you... it. <laughs> You get huge and stuff, but you know your stuff shrinks and everything. So you can't <laughs> yeah, really. At a certain point, though, like getting too much, it. it looks really weird. Yeah, he not looks worth. weird. He looks really because like because like like if I worked out a little bit more, like I I wouldn't want to be anything more than like just toned. Yeah, you know, like like, like get, getting like just super jacked. It seems like like for one, it's it looks like grotesque, weird. Almost. Yeah, and like and also like I bet like it's like like for like super bodybuilders like really big like like I bet they actually have like physical problems that you know like they can't scratch their they, neck they do they, they, they probably yeah they probably Seriously. have mobility <laughs> they do. I, I knew a guy that was a that was a big time pumper and he had problems like he tore like one of his one of the muscles in his arms he tore it just reaching for something because he was <laughs> he was so he was so ripped that just doing like a normal motion overloaded his muscle and he tore a muscle Wow, pathetic. Yeah. So, so they have female bodybuilders now. Have that you seen? Creeps me out. <laughs> like, yeah, not, but, but, like, like it does, but but like like sometimes like when a woman does just have like like just like abs, like sometimes it does look kind of like attractive though. Uh, not to me. <laughs> not not like a super like hardcore abs, just like you know like 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 a woman who's a little bit more than tone. I can find like attractive. I guess. I guess. Nah. Nah, I want them soft. I don't, yeah. I don't want them fat, but I don't want them like you know. I don't want to see a six pack on a chick. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to see a chick with a six. I mean, I wouldn't want to be with a chick with a six pack if I didn't have a six pack. If I did, you know, that'd be. Like, <laughs> you don't like, want her to be, have, to have a six pack, and then she can have a six pack. You don't want her to be buffer than you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, are you sporting a six pack now, or are you uh, are you a little doughy? I'm pretty doughy. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now like, I'm doing track to hopefully uh, get a little bit of the dough off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's like I'm sure dough. I'm sure that you'll you'll go through periods of more and less. Let fitness. me see. You can just call me Pillsbury. <laughs> <laughs> well, Flex was like Flex was like skinny as fuck, like an anorexic for a long time, and uh, mm. they actually had to put a feeding tube in his body. That he would yeah. like pour the stuff into to make him gain weight, and he finally just and it worked. Took the, and it, it worked. worked. 
I went from 163 to back to 200 pounds where I'm supposed to be. A couple of months ago, he looked like they, you know, liberated him from Auschwitz or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. I looked pretty, I was pretty skinny. It, it kind of disturbed us all. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a disturbing kind of person, so. Bah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so Nova, uh, T Gizzle is, uh, you know, uh, kept us up to date. He's like, you know, he's playing in the band. He's uh, he's in theater, you know, and and all these other things. So, so what's your deal, baby? Well, now I I was pretty much not doing anything for the entire school year, really. Aside from now, when I'm, I'm doing track because all my friends do track, and I do shot put, which is where you throw the heavy ball as far as you can. I'm not that good at it yet, but it's mostly because I don't know how to do it. It's, it's a lot not, of technique. Yeah, it's all technique. Right now, I, I've been play, I played baseball for my entire life, so I'm throwing it like a baseball, and uh, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> are, are you a master of the knuckleball on the shot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll curve it. <laughs> how big are those balls, though? They're, they vary. There's some that are... Kind of hard to show you size on. Well, they look like cannonballs, bigger man. than a baseball. They're like, yeah, there's the the smaller one is slightly bigger than a baseball, maybe softball size, and then the larger one is like a little bit like bigger. grapefruit. Yeah, I guess. Then they have like uh, girls' weights and boys' weights. Boys do twelve pounds. Girls do eight. Uh, I don't really know why such a big difference has to be. I don't know. I, I just never understood that uh, whole sexist thing when it comes to sports. So the girls that do the shot put are are they are they buff or are they, are they kind of butch? No, <laughs> they 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 don't throw very well. <laughs> <laughs> At your school, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, there there's I'm I throw the farthest on my team. Uh, then there's two girls who throw the farthest in com- like much farther than the rest of the girls, uh, and then there's one other kid. Uh, who one other guy who throws and he's not athletic to say the least, <laughs> uh, but he's getting better. So, do you guys have the discus? Yeah, we do that. I'm terrible at that. <laughs> oh man, they, they won't let me. They wouldn't let me near that thing. I was like, <laughs> well, what's off, the matter? Off the you coach, have a... go out, bounced off the coach's car's windshield. Yeah. <laughs> What's well, the matter? You don't have a history with the frisbee? Come on, it's just a goddamn frisbee. That's all it is. <laughs> I'm good at frisbee. I'm really good at frisbee because I'm kind of a beach bum. But uh, when it comes to throwing a frisbee inverted like that, and it's heavy, I I can't aim at all. Like I threw it far, but it went all the way to the left. And we don't really do enough practice for me to get good at it. So I yeah, played probably frisbee never gonna golf. Be well, what you do oh, is you, yeah? you you get yeah. your own you get your own discus and then you just go out to the beach and you just practice and practice. Surprisingly, and practice. if you want to get your own discus or a shot uh, ball, I don't know what they're called. Uh, they're pretty expensive. Like a shot can go for like over a hundred dollars. Wow! Pounds. Just for a fucking iron ball? It's, yeah, it's just a heavy ball, and it's and it's. <laughs> well, well, they are made out of real metal, though. So, like, well, no, some are plastic filled with really? like shit, sure. and those are sure. still expensive. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what they're filled with, but it, like the, if you shake it, it sounds like a maraca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, something, something else interesting on Nova does, though, and I, he doesn't do any more, I'm guessing, but lacrosse, that's really Yeah, Yeah, I, I played lacrosse since the sixth grade. I played up until freshman year, but I made the mistake of switching to my high school baseball team because the seasons are the same. They, they, bo- they both play in the spring. Uh, and Baseball in my school is underfunded and underappreciated, so it was just kind of a bad idea because basically my my JV baseball coach didn't like me because I went away on vacation for spring break when you're not supposed to, but you're only not supposed to in varsity. In JV, you're supposed to be allowed to, but I went so I went away. But he got angry and never played me anymore in the game. So the varsity coaches never really got to see me play. And when it came time to try out for varsity the next year, we had, it was just a shitty, it was like in the middle of winter, it was just shitty conditions. We couldn't go outside. So they couldn't really see me play. 
they were basing off of the fact that I never played the part the year before that, so they just thought I was bad or something. So I got cut. So my only regret in high school is that I uh, switched to baseball and went away from lacrosse because my lacrosse coach was probably the best coach I've ever had. Wow. Well, well I know that you people back east are big on lacrosse. We we in California we don't know it from jack shit. Oh, well, we it's got a great sport. Here. Well, like I've never like I I live in Florida. I've never even seen a lacrosse game in person. So. I mean, it's, yeah. it's exciting. I, it's I'm like, a defender. Uh, it's like hockey on AstroTurf. Yeah. Yeah, it's like hockey, but uh, balls in the air instead of the puck on the ground. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. It's cool. Well, it looks like that stick would be great for fishing stuff, you know, uh, around the house. You know, if you have a <laughs> lacrosse stick, you know, it's like, hey, can you reach that for me? Yeah, let me go get my lacrosse stick. Yeah. <laughs> It's a strange thing with all the lacrosse players. Maybe it's just in my school, but it seems like all lacrosse players belong to this like cult of lacrosse, where they they just breathe lacrosse, and they're just they're just different people. It's really strange. <laughs> <laughs> the cult of lacrosse. Yeah, the cult of lacrosse. Inhale the flavor of lacrosse. Yeah, <laughs> wafted, silly wafted in. Ah, now, lacrosse. Silly now, I'm assuming pool. not like. Like, are there girl uh, girl lacrosse teams like for school? Yeah, yeah. My school has a boys and girls lacrosse. And girls lacrosse is a lot different than boys lacrosse. It's weird. Like they don't wear as much padding, so you can't hit each other with the stick. Like right. boys lacrosse, and you you can only hit the other girl's stick. You can't like if you hit anywhere else, it's a foul. They only wear a mask. They don't wear a helmet. And there's just so many rules that are weird. Like they can't have a pocket to their stick. Like, boys lacrosse, everyone would work on their... They would, like, try to find the best way to have a pocket for the ball to sit in. Like, the best uh-huh. depth so that they could keep the ball in there, but it can still fly out when they need to pass or shoot. So that, that's, like, a balancing thing that they would, that every, all the lacrosse guys would work on. But girls, they can't have a pocket. It's against the rule. They, they just have, like, this flat place for the ball to go in, and they can't cradle... They have to just run with it like that. It's hmm. just completely different to the point where it's not lacrosse anymore. It's something else. Who I don't came up with this? It. Who came up so, with this rule set? I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. Well, girls, boy, men's and girls hockey is the same way. Like they can't check or anything in girls hockey. Really? And, yeah. Yeah, here in Minnesota, anyway. It just makes it a boring sport at that point. <laughs> Yeah. It's just no longer a fun thing to watch. Hockey's only fun to watch to me because people beat the shit out of each other. They still do. <laughs> they still do. They just get penalized more. The only than... time it's any good is when there's an actual fist fight. Yeah, yeah. That, that, when there's, that's the when only thing slugging. I want to watch. Yeah, <laughs> they're slugging. I'll be right back in just two seconds. i got to grab a rock star. Rock star boy. <coughs> mm. You watch much hockey, T-Gizzle? No, I'm not really much into sports. So. Not into sports at all. No, I mean like I like sports. It's just like oh. I just don't have the time to, like to like invest in following teams and stuff like that. I yeah. I can't I like NFL like football. I can't follow football anymore. It's just gotten so crazy that I quit following it. Just no, guessing, uh, none of you guys get into March Madness. Not me. I, I know mean, everybody. Is, but no. No, I yeah, don't. My school's don't. flipping out with March Madness. I have a friend who like. Is in the 98th percentile with <laughs> whatever the chart is that you fill out when you guess who's going to win and who's going to lose. And yeah, you could like rackets. win a billion dollars or something. So he's like he, watching he's every game on his phone. Yeah, he, he's, he's, I don't know, maybe that was like yesterday, I guess, and things can change. Well, I heard really that, quick. that there's no winning brackets anymore in the billion dollar challenge. It's like they're all been upset. Uh, I don't know, maybe. There's There's still a million dollar, but he was still offering up million dollar prizes for certain. Right, I mean, for uh, a cert- certain level of advancement into the. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's off. over my head. He, I think he signed up. He missed the billion dollar bracket, so he signed yeah. up for the million dollar bracket. And the last time I okay, heard anything of it, the nineteenth Okay, in, in just a little while. They're gonna stop serving breakfast. <laughs> They're going to stop serving breakfast. They're going to stop okay, serving you're, breakfast. You're, you're being recorded right now. You're going to go on the <laughs> internet. Okay, so whatever you say next is going to be on the internet. And it be, will be used against you. Okay, say hi to Nova. Say hi to Trent. Hi, Nova hi. and 
Trent. Hi, Hello. I'm uh, Ann. Hi, I'm Flex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish talking <laughs> it. I'm old news. <laughs> okay, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> 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 it's uh, it's early here. We're in we're in the east west coast. Right, right. They, do they like VK? Yeah. So uh, so what is all this VK business here? We're gonna we're gonna find out something today, right? Uh, later gonna, today. I hope so. <laughs> later today. Hashtag little V capital K. Well, well, we're recording this as of Sunday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So there's been no reveal yet as of this recording. But like, who knows? Like, what happens by the time you guys upload this? Yeah. yeah. So Hopefully we don't know what then, it is now. Know. Yeah. So pay so, attention the next yeah. few days. Yeah, probably. Well, most likely, if we if once uh, once Casey revive gets home and we all can have a meeting tonight, then something might happen with VK tonight. How do you guys have a meeting on Xbox Live or Skype or what? Just probably just a conference Skype call. Yeah. Okay. So. It's chilly, James. Okay. 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 Chill, chill your jets, man. Just have a seat. Do something. <laughs> she she wheels her way into almost every episode. Those cups are breakfast. <laughs> we like to have breakfast on Sundays. Uh, we like to go, you know, somewhere and have some nice bacon and eggs or go whatever. Have, go have some brunch. Some brunch, exactly. Brunch. I just been to um little house can, little, little, slice, little slice of cantaloupe at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a waffle, maybe a pancake, what, whatever. A blintz, even. By the time I wake up, breakfast is over everywhere. So, <laughs> like when, when we, uh, when I call, when you called me earlier, I, I had just woken up. That yeah. was uh, twelve something my time. So, what were you doing last night? Uh, last night I played some Titanfall. Uh, <laughs> I finally prestige ones or generated regenerated i don't know what it's called in this game but prestige mode basically uh so that's that's the thing there's yeah. no uh, particular okay there's no particular challenge on the first generation, no the right? first one is just get to level 50 i don't know what the second one is because yeah know. well i'm at level 46 now in gen 2 and last night i just finished all of the uh gen requirements all so like i just hit 50 now and i can regen for my what what regen. are the requirements for that's gen 2 it's Kill like like basically kill a bunch of stuff with with the forty millimeter cannon. Kill oh, uh, kill a bunch shit. of titans. I hate or, that thing. <laughs> that was actually really good. Use it with an. You don't like the forty millimeter cannon? That's a good I, weapon. I like the chain gun. The chain gun yeah, is I my too. absolute favorite. Now 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 here's the thing about the chain gun though. Like the chain gun goes a lot better with fast removing titans because like you know you could because I, I feel like you can track them. I use it on my ogre and it works great. I mean, I, would say, I, I understand what you're saying, but I I use the uh, rapid fire quad rocket for my uh, rider. My rider. Yeah, yeah. That, that's pretty beastly. But what I would say, just like like because because you're gonna have to do that to regen. Put it on your ogre because if you put it on your ogre, because like you know it, it's it's like a one shot. It's kind of kind of like a, a lot of time in between each shot. Yeah, yeah. And like, and then the Strider and the, and the Atlas, you're moving around a lot more than the Ogre, so like you're going to miss a lot more shots. But yeah, that's what I noticed was happening with me. I always, I would always miss my second shot when it came out of the right. 40 like, like that's why I kind of like when I used like the way I did this challenge is I was in a forty, uh, like I was in an Ogre with a forty millimeter. I would throw up a particle wall, and then I just kind of you know just sit behind a particle wall and keep shooting at them. And when you unlock the particle wall, because the particle wall is really one now, so. Slower. I like the particle wall. I I gave up the vortex shield as soon as I got the particle wall. Well, like I feel like all these things really just fit like speed classes because like like different modes of speed. Like vortex shield yeah. is really good if you're trying to move around a lot because like you know uh, you know the vortex. No, I actually I disagree with that. I for uh, for my fast class titans, I use the smoke because you or don't the need the vortex shield as much because you can dodge more. With the ogre, I have the vortex shield because I can't get out of getting shot so i just put my hand up the ogre's too slow right yeah. yeah yeah so so i actually don't have any experience using the electric smoke i always use the vortex shield or the particle wall uh i, I use it to trap people in corners a lot because if you're stuck inside of a cloud of smoke and there's shit all around you it's very hard to like navigate yeah. out of it yeah. so it does a lot of damage and then i can back up with my strider and just Use my chain gun or quad rocket to just keep on blasting into them nonstop, and then they go down because they don't know what's going on. 
How well, fast does it take the, the if there's a guy rodeo in your Titan? Uh, how fast does the electric smoke kill him? Uh, if he fast. if you hear him, like if you have good headphones, you can hear him before the little notification comes on. Right. So right. if you hear him coming on, you can. I usually crouch just in case, and then I uh, I, I I deploy the smoke screen, and it's usually before he can completely open up the hatch, or like by the time he opens up the hatch, he's dead. So that's about there the time. Go. But oh. if you don't have good headphones, he's probably already started shooting into your brain by that point. Well, then the electric smoke will take him out if he doesn't jump off. But how long does... How, right? It's like, he can uh, still get away. He can get away. It's not easy to get away because of the, the like width of the smoke the radius, screen. yeah. But if there's a building right next to him, he could just like parkour onto that building. If you're in the middle of an open field, he <laughs> chances are he probably will die if he makes any mistakes when he's running away. Yeah. Yes. Like, like usually what I do, because like, um, uh, like in the last few days, I've been playing a lot of last Titan standing because like I've been trying to get 40 millimeter cannons for Titans. And like, you know, obviously when your Titan blows up last Titan standing, you want to go rodeo Titans and take them out, you know, help your team. So like, I've really gotten to the point that like, like, because before I wasn't doing this, like as soon as I rodeo a Titan and they pop smoke, it's like, like an instant reaction now. I hop off, wait for the smoke to dissipate, get back on them. Try to again, keep doing that. Yeah. Over and over but like, yeah, I like to fuck with them with the satchel charges. Like as soon as they get out, I just satchel charge the entire area. If I don't kill them, at least they're hurt, and then I can just shoot them down. Yeah. But I can put smoke on any of my cla- my Titan classes. That like, if I if I was to put it on one, I think I would probably replace Vortex Shield in my Strider and put it on uh, that. Yeah, that's what I would do. Because I, another way to use it is with the Strider. If you see uh, an ogre or an atlas just kind of walking about, you could boost right up to them, deploy smoke, and then and boost then, back, and then go back, and then yeah. just shoot at them. At that point, they don't really know what's going on because they don't they, know where you came from. They don't know where you went. They can't even see. Yeah. yeah, they're just trying to get out of the smoke. That's what's on their mind is getting out of the smoke. So you can do a lot of damage in that point. So how much smoke? How much damage does the smoke do to a titan? Anyway, um, it drops shield super fast, but to actual yeah. damage, not a lot. It's mostly to drop the shield, and then you can spray in with whatever weapon you have to complete their health. Yeah, so I like the chain gun as my favorite. It's yeah. like the it's the best overall weapon because you can use it at distance or yeah. close. And I like that 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 uh, attachment that it starts off slow and it builds up and it gets Ooh, fast like as fuck. I don't. I haven't used it, but I. From what I've heard, I don't really like it. It doesn't really fit my play style. Basically, it like, gives you a hundred and fifty rounds. Right, but like, I would rather have consistent rate of fire and have and just use extended mag. Yeah, I use extended mag. Because well, like, because yeah, like, good the, extended mag is good, but you should try it. You should try. It. I forgot what they call that accelerator. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I tried it. I saw, I like it. Just I, I feel like the extended mag is a lot more. Uh, it's way more effective because like the way I see it, because like it starts off your rate of fire really slow. So yeah. to, build, to build up your rate of fire, you have to and hold, you have to hold the trigger down. Yeah, you and if you let up the trigger for even a second, shoot. if you hold, if you let up for even a second, you start and you pull it back right, again. Exactly. You start off back where you started from. It's it boosts slower. you 150 rounds. You said it boosts your ammo count to 150 rounds. What is it? You guys mag are saying. Or, you yeah. guys are saying are an extended, yeah, extended like, mags. Yeah. 90. You get yeah. 90 at extended uh, mags. So, oh, so that's a lot of. Yeah. yeah, 150 is a lot. That is a lot, but. My play style is to kind of bob and weave as much as possible just to both confuse the Titan I'm fighting and to just limit the amount of damage I take in. So right. I stop shooting often because I'll, I'll be shooting, I'll be shooting, then I'll it's boost great. behind a rock and I have yep. to stop shooting, otherwise I'm wasting ammo. Yep. And then I'll boost back and then I'll start shooting again. I don't want to have to have a slow rate of fire because I'd be having a slow rate of fire more often than not with my play style. If I right. had the uh, accelerator. But I'll tell you what, when it comes time to take out the ship at the end, oh my god. Uh, yeah, I can so imagine. That's that would be useful. Good. But like, Oh man, you, you never don't take out the ship. Yeah. <laughs> like, accelerator really is only useful when you can have a continuous like spray on a target. Which yeah, is very, may, because, maybe like suppressive fire. I don't yeah, because cause like, cause either you're going to move around a lot, or they're going to move around a lot, and you won't constantly hit, and, right. you'll, and you'll stop shooting eventually. But you know what it does? It's like when you're shooting Titans, or when you're shooting pilots and, and uh, grunts and stuff, it makes you have to be really accurate. Yeah, it, it's, it lowers your accuracy uh, a lot. And I also, see that kind of screwing with my gameplay as well, because I like long distance. 
Oh. And also, taking out grunts is really important with the chain because, like, if, if you're using a chain gun, it's a very good infantry weapon. It's really effective yeah. against infantry, and I would usually hate, like a one-two shot. Yeah, I would hate for it to take longer. So, yeah, well, it's a, it's an interesting weapon. I never I never really used the quad rockets much. How how much success have you had with that? I don't like the default quad rocket because it, the missiles spin, and it's just the only thing it's good for is taking pilots off of the roof of buildings because you could shoot like slightly over the building and it'll spin onto the building and take them out but once you unlock rapid fire where it just basically turns it into like a machine gun rocket launcher sort of thing then it's worth it because the missiles go relatively straight they don't they're not like straight like an arrow but they go straight and you can shoot them really fast so it's just more damage output faster it's just better, basically. If you have if you have rapid fire, it's just better to use rapid fire than not. Yeah. Okay. How good is it at, at range, though? Not because mm-hmm. the rockets are slow. You have to lead your target a lot at range, and that's <laughs> that was, I was having a problem with that. That's why my uh, the only class I used the rapid fire quad rocket on is my Strider, so I could get up close, shoot a bunch, and then get back out of the way. But uh, if you're going for long distance, don't use the quad rocket. In any with any attachment, it won't work. Right, right. Well, you know that forty millimeter cannon is not too bad at range. You yeah, can take you can use that from a long way off. It's like a marksman rifle. It's like they're equivalent to a marksman rifle. Yeah, it really is. And, oh, and the other um, the other two challenges. So, so, so basically, I I think you get more challenges every uh, gen, but yeah. for gen two, it's four. Two challenges involve the forty millimeter cannon. It's like like the first challenge is get you basically get a bunch of kills in general with it, and then the other one is kill a bunch of titans. Now, the other two are with the shotgun. Basically, get a bunch of kills in general, like pilots and grunts with the shotgun. Well, that's and then easy. And kill just pilots with the shotgun. So that's how it shotgun works. Shotgun is overpowered, so that should be easy. Well, maybe not <laughs> overpowered, but really good. It's really good, yeah. yeah. Well, and, there's nothing that's better than just a standard carbine. Yeah, I know. It's kind of disappointing because I, I wish like the SMGs were better. Yeah, the CAR SMG or CAR, whatever you call it, it rivals it, but I still prefer the carbine. It's yeah, it's good, but it's too inaccurate to fire from the hip. I find like it's it's meant for firing from the hip, basically, but it's just not accurate enough to make that an effective. Weapon. Well, like counterweight is a big thing for that, though. You yeah, it doesn't it. make the, a big difference. I I use counterweight. I turn it on and off every now and then to see if I notice a difference. I really don't notice a difference at all. And I mm. use the uh, the run and gun perk where you can sprint with your SMG yeah. and pistol and still shoot. It's that's really the only way that an SMG is worth using is if you use the run and gun because you're a very hard target to hit because you're going really fast yeah yeah so so do you guys like the invisibility i like the uh i like the the stem i use stem Uh, i I have one invisibility class and that's my long range class like well kind of what i do with all my classes when it comes to titans and the pilots i like i set up all according to like overall speed like basically with my default class i use a Mo, like use, use most often I have the most success with is like medium speed for everything medium because like for for my most used class I use basic basically the default Atlas class I find it that the Atlas <laughs> and, the, and the carbine yeah um, I use the I use the Atlas with um, the chain gun extended mags um, um Vortex shield just the default rockets uh, the rockets Salvo. and auto eject uh, auto eject and um wait what, what what's the other the last thing uh what does it do? Uh, ejection? No, I don't use nuclear ejection ever. I don't like it. Uh, wait, auto eject and what else? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> There's big punch. Uh, I'd have to. Just I'd have to look it up in the. book. I bought the book. Actually, Ann bought the book for me. Well, like, well, it's, uh-huh. it's basically the default setup, but I make slight variations, and then like, uh, I then I use a carbine with cloak and stuff like that. Like, ba- basically, like my most effective class is my. It's pretty close to default with some minor changes. Now, what's your favorite uh, weapon attachment? I almost always like to use silencer because if you want to sh- kill a shitload of grunts, you know, if you're if you're not off the radar, then that'll bring people over and they'll well, get you. I don't even like suppressor for this game. I don't either. Just because in this game it actually lowers damage, not just accuracy. It lowers damage and accuracy. So yeah, it, it's maybe it's good for killing grunts, but as soon as you come in contact with uh, another player that has a carbine that's not silenced. You're gonna die. 
no matter what. Even if you start shooting first, you're not doing enough damage. You're not hitting him enough to actually do much to him. Really? I, I huh. Well, because you know, if you're if you're like want to like help your team on attrition, you know, taking out grunts is is definitely key. I mean, you don't yeah. you don't want to ignore them. You want to kill them. Yeah, yeah. That's actually we came across. Uh, I think this was yesterday. We came across uh, another team that had two generation eights and one generation nine and then a generation two and we were like certain that we were going to lose that match but we wanted to try it anyways and we went after grunts and specters and we beat them they were better than us at most combat situations but they were going for us while we were were ignoring they were ignoring the minions yeah and the minions make a big difference well, yeah. but as far as we know, though, their uh, their gen challenges could evolve killing pilots, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that would affect their game play. Because like, because like the last two nights, I've been focusing on. I, I finished the challenges. I just got to hit fifty now. But it really does like you know going for challenges really does affect like how well you can actually do depending on the challenge. Some of the later challenges sound like torture. Yeah, like I, um, I don't remember them, but uh, generation eights. Nines, they 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 have some tough shit that they got to do. I was watching a guy stream, and uh, he was like generation six, or he was generation five, and he wanted to go to six. And his challenge, he had to get fifty e- kill fifty pilots ejecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we had a friend who was. Doing yeah, that. I was just like, about to mention that because because we were playing with a guy who has that challenge, like just like last night or the night before. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> you know that's like so hard because so many people are invisible. Yeah, and it's hard as you know, fuck to see. It's impo- it's impossible with like I guess anything besides a chain gun really for like shooting someone to go up like that because I can't match because like I tried doing it with the forty millimeter. I've used it a lot the last few days. That's like basically impossible. I can't yeah. imagine, and I can't I imagine you doing of anything else besides the chain gun. So I don't know if you remember, but uh, in the trailer, I guess it was I don't know what trailer for the game. They I think it was like the first trailer they released when a pilot ejected. The uh, guy the, who was uh, the who was watching it all and it was recording from his point of view, he had that uh, electric gun. I don't know what that's called. I don't know what it's called either. Yeah. But it shoots uh, an electric charge. Yeah, yeah he was able arc to take cannon. out. Yeah, arc cannon. That's what it is. He was able to take out an ejecting pilot like with no problem at all. And I was like, okay, so that gun is going to be good for shooting pilots. It's the worst gun. In the game for shooting pilots, because it's just <laughs> hard as hell to use. No, there's a worse one. The rail, the rail. Yeah, gun. yeah, the rail. Yeah, that's true. I hate that thing. That I. That, it's like I tried it as soon as I unlocked it. I tried it. It's like this. This sucks. I'm yeah. not gonna use this. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe if there were bigger maps, that would be useful for long, really long range. But it's not useful on any of the maps that they have out there. Maybe Boneyard. But that's about it. <laughs> yeah so so how do you like the art cannon i i tried it for a while i was using it for a while it's like it seems like you have to hit everything at least twice it you know, well, does a lot of damage if you charge it up but uh it's there was a situation when i first unlocked it there was a pilot in a building like shooting out of a window and i i charged up my art cannon to shoot at him because i figured the more you charge it up the more damage it does apparently it also makes the the charge thicker so it didn't fit through the window and i didn't understand what was going on i was i kept on charging up my rifle shooting this big blast of lightning at the guy and it wouldn't hit him so (laughs) then when i shot it just at intervals it did a lot less damage almost nothing Uh, and the guy ended up running away uh but it hit him so it's just not good for shooting through small spaces at all because in order to do that you can't charge it up but if you don't charge it up you don't get enough damage output to do anything yeah if you don't charge it up you have to hit hit him at least twice maybe three times yeah and it takes a while to shoot that gun it's not like the chain gun yeah yeah you can't beat the chain gun it's just like it's good for all situations yeah fast loading high output High destruction. Well, fast oh, loading, it's not. It's not fast loading. I, it's like the animation no, is so yeah. annoying. Yeah, I always get yeah. caught. Reloading. I don't think Muppets really get um, fast reload speed, I think. I can't think of any that I, I really have. I think the quad rocket's fast. It's slower nerd, isn't it? And reload. Well, the thing about the, the art cannon, there is no reload. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was one plus with that. What about the rail gun? Is that, does that have re- reload? 
Uh, uh, you know, I use it so little. It's like I yeah. gave up on it so fast. I feel like it doesn't. I feel like those charge-up weapons don't have a reload. Now, something very similar to the uh, Art Cannon, the charge rifle for pilot anti-titan yeah. weapon. That's a that's a very good anti-titan weapon. I don't use yeah, it on my classes. Yeah, like um, it's it's real like the best thing because like that's the only anti-titan weapon that you can use while rotoing a titan. So I still I've only done that once. I don't really get the chance to use the that rifle or that anti-titan weapon too much because I only have it on two classes that I don't use very often. But it it is very effective if you can. Rodeo a Titan with that, and and, and, and even if you don't, because like I like I thought like oh this thing's kind of weak if I don't rodeo. Like actually, it's pretty strong if you yeah, even it's very rodeo. strong. It's sometimes it's hard to hit moving targets with it. Well, it's it sucks when you when you miss your target. You spend yeah. all that time charging it, and it's like fuck missed. Yeah. Well, one one technique that I've kind of <clears> developed, and I'm sure a lot of people do, is uh, they charge uh, they charge it up. But they don't charge it all the way, and then they just try to like they tap the trigger enough to keep the charge up there, but not to the point that it shoots. Oh yeah. So that you just it, it's kind of hard to keep it where you want you it. Kind to. of juggle it. Kind yeah, of yeah. Juggle you it. juggle the charge, and then it's kind of hard to do that and move around. But if you get good at that, you'll be very effective. Ah, huh, huh. So, so as far as anti-titan weapons, I like that thing that that uh, like makes that popping sound. Bonk, 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 bonk. Uh, the grenade launcher? Yeah, yeah, the grenade yeah, that, launcher. That's thing. what I use for my close and medium range classes. It, it, yeah, it's it, a mag mag launcher. Yeah, yeah, it, it magnetically tracks Titan. I don't know, I haven't really used the mag launcher. I, I had to use, like, Sidewinder or the um, or the charge rifle. I used to use the Sidewinder a lot, but uh, it was too inaccurate for me, so I, I moved to the grenade does launcher. It, does, can you use the Sidewinder to take out uh, pilots? You can, and they'll explode if you kill them, which is kind of funny. But it's kind of inaccurate, and so it's hard to hit a pilot, and it doesn't do very much damage to a pilot for some reason, even though it does a lot of damage to a Titan. It's strange, but it's all balancing issues. But if yeah. you do manage to kill a pilot or infantry with a Sidewinder, they'll explode, kind of like a, kind of like if a Titan punches them. Yeah, yeah, that's the coolest thing. Yeah, I like the Titan punch. <laughs> yeah, punches are awesome. Usually, I don't bother with that. I just run them over, or just like just yeah, walk I, on them. It's good if a pilot's like jumping around because it kind of auto aims to them. So, like, if, if you're looking one way and there's a pilot over here, and you punch, it'll automatically punch him. So, yeah. if you see a pilot near you and you just your instincts are to click on the button to punch, you'll kill him almost no matter what. And he and he turns into mist. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> mist and guts. <laughs> I don't know if that's the funnest thing, or if like snapping a guy's head from behind is the funnest. Yeah, thing. I like how when that happens to you, you actually see the guy for a little while behind it's you, and then so it's so, so creepy. It. When that happened to me in the beta, I was like freaking out because it was the first time it happened. I'm like, I, why was I able to see this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you would be able to see a guy snapping your neck if they Probably. snap your neck all the way around. Because like, like, because like, really, like, unless you're shot through the brain, nothing's in really a super instant death. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. So like, you know, if you're like in in the French Revolution and they guill guillotined your head, okay, would you see the the basket coming closer as you're falling? They they say you actually can like are you're technically like alive for a few seconds or like even like a minute at the most I think after you're oh, hit. God, oh. imagine being bodiless for a minute so you die. <laughs> that would suck. It's like, yeah. <laughs> well, you couldn't scream because you don't have any air in your. You know, yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just like your brain's still on and your eyes still work. So you're like, you know, Shit. you could you could, do, you could make this noise. <laughs> 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 I remember to use that to scream when I'm bodiless. <laughs> you can make faces. <laughs> That's all you can do. Is you can just make faces. <laughs> you can scare the crowd. It's like <laughs> you're just <this> head. <laughs> <laughs> I can never imagine like going to a public execution and just being like, yeah, death. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I don't know why with this era of reality shows that we don't have that man. You you you'd think that would be like pay per view that would like make a fortune. Well, I mean, we still kind of have that. Pe people go and watch freaking people get uh, um, electrocuted. I mean, they used to, but because that's not really a thing we do anymore. But people, yeah, still... it's not open to the public. It's not no, I mean, I mean, like part of the, the victim's public. family or something. Yeah, but still, like even to go like, 
like even in that point, why would you want to go see that? Like, like you shouldn't like like the, the man like got his you know justice or whatever. You sh- you should just be done with it. Like like how vindictive must you be to watch the man die painfully? Well, I don't know. Oh, it's yeah. like uh, you can't really know for sure until it you know until it would happen to you. You know, it's like somebody kills somebody that you care about. It's like you might want to see him fry. You know. Yeah, but like, I I mean I would want. Justice, but I would I wouldn't ha- wouldn't necessarily want to watch. I'd want to, I'd want to sit and think up. about it for the rest of their life. Really, to be honest with you. Yeah, but, uh, but I would I would I wouldn't want them dead. I'd want them to have to sit and think about it. Yeah, yeah. Like that would be you know to make them think about it every day. It's like yeah, you know, they would have that if they have no remorse. They have no remorse. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, yeah. I feel like if I was sentenced to life in prison. I would rather just die. So, right, so it's not it, really much With that to... in mind, people who are put to death are getting the easy way out. Yeah. 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 Well, what you do if you're the victim's family, you like write a letter every week to the guy on doing life and say, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, e- even without the whole easy way out thing in mind, it's just, it's just like, like we're punishing people because they did something because they murder someone and and the claim that nobody has the right to murder someone else. So so, so 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 by that logic, even if that person did murder someone, we still shouldn't be able to kill them, you know? Yeah, I'm against the death penalty just on that feel, you know, just just that you know, it's it doesn't make any sense. The state is going to murder you because you murdered somebody. Yeah. When you can't murder the, somebody or else we'll murder you. That's that's illogical. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, that, like an eye not, for an uh, eye kind of thing, but we don't do eye for an eye in any other situation but murder. It's, there's a reason we don't do eye for an eye in any other situation because it's stupid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just like, but like you burned down my house, so I get to burn down yours. Yeah, you you yeah. cut off my arm, or no, you stole something from me, I cut off your hand. Hmm. Great fucking idea. That way you can't <laughs> steal anymore. Well, he could he could say he could steal if you just (laughs) (laughs) yeah those pancakes are calling baby (laughs) yeah so so they could they could cut off your hand and you could still steal and then the second offense now you can't steal no more I'm sorry it's like you show me a guy who can steal with no hands and it's like that's a uses his mouth (laughs) that's a serious handicap for your career if you're a thief (laughs) it's like you're not gonna pickpocket I'll tell you that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, get your fucking face out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I got your OR teeth. <laughs> yeah. just, 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 just like imagine Assassin's Creed. I like if you ever play Assassin's Creed. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like someone, someone pickpocketed you, and like you turn around, they have no arms. Like what? <laughs> they're, just, they're just like pecking you. <laughs> Because like because it happens sometimes randomly in Assassin's Creed, someone will like take your money and then start running off the opposite direction, and they yeah. chase them and tackle them to get your money back. But imagine I you saw someone, <laughs> yeah, just like imagine you saw someone with no arms, be like. <laughs> 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 there was one time when uh, when I was little, we went to Italy and we were we were looking at the we were visiting the Tower of Pisa, and uh, in Italy, there's not enough police in these places that have like thousands and thousands of people so people make a living by pickpocketing people there like at these scenic places so uh i was there with my grandma and my mom and i was little i was a little kid but i was still big like i was bigger than everyone when i was little so there a group of italians ran up to my grandma and she had like a fanny pack kind of purse thing and they put a map over her purse to, and like spoke Italian really quickly to like confuse her, making her think that they were asking for directions. At first, I didn't know what was going on, but then it, it was obvious that they were trying to do something. So I stepped in front of them and just kind of like pushed them out of the way so that they wouldn't do whatever it was that they were trying to do. And then afterwards, we realized that they opened up my grandma's purse, like they got that far. So wow. they, they they would have gotten her credit cards or whatever if I wow. didn't react when I did. Nova, you're a hero. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. <laughs> was That's pretty cool. weird, yeah. but it was cool. <laughs> That's far out. Yeah, yeah. So I see you're using uh, uh, A40s. Yeah, Astro, I, Astro headphones. How, how do you like them? How do you like them? Uh, these are actually my old ones. These, these I reserve for my computer because I don't know how to. 
plug in my new ones to my computer yet. I never really looked into it, but I have A50s over there for my Xbox. Uh, so I'm like completely wireless when I play Xbox, which is nice. What about uh, Xbox One? Yeah, that, uh, that's what I mean. Xbox One. I have it plugged into my Xbox One, but I have my Xbox 360 plugged into my Xbox One as well, like instead of a cable box. So if I say mm-hmm. Xbox Watch TV, it'll switch to my 360, and uh, and I can just uh, play through that, and I don't have to move where my headset is. Do you get lag when you do that? Uh, if I if I do, I don't notice it. But also, I don't really play any competitive games on Xbox 360 anymore. The only game I really did that with was GTA 5 for a while, but now I'm kind of just done with that game because it's huh. GTA Online kind of. Now, how do, you, how do you how do you chat with your heads, headset uh, with the Xbox One? How do you rig that? Uh, right now, I'm using uh, because I don't have an adapter for my controller to for it to plug into. I uh, I just use the Connect mic. Some people get annoyed with it, and I get annoyed when they get annoyed. <laughs> uh, it's just I've had to answer that question so many times. Why are you using the Connect mic? Why are you using the Connect mic? Don't you wish you had one of these little? Yeah, babies? <laughs> I just bought this yesterday. I had to search. Yeah, I'll Found get it. it eventually. I'm just yeah, it's I need not it on my list. Like, it's not on my high priority of things to buy. I hate people use the fucking Connect. <laughs> oh, it sounds like shit. Well, well no, the, the old search. Connect in the party with us, Yam Juice. The old Connect was I was just terrible. Yeah, anyone this who used the this one is, in my oh, opinion, oh. it's fine. Like, it's I, I've heard it's people. Usable. I don't really think it's that annoying. Uh, the uh, the old Connect though, when they people would just sound like robots, and I it was it, it pissed me off when people thought that, that was an appropriate mic to use. Yeah, I don't yeah. mind it. I think it works okay. The no, new I, Connect it's... works fine, in my opinion. The old, Connect, <laughs> you know? I think it works fine. Well, it does have something to do with how far you're sitting away from it. If you're sitting really far from it, yeah, you get a lot of room echo yeah. on that person. Yeah, and it's like they're they're it's sort of hard to understand them. Well, I'm pretty close. I'm only like four feet away. Yeah, I'm touching mine right now. I bought the <laughs> Microsoft a pair of the Microsoft headsets. Oh yeah, and, and one for me. Well, I was going to get a pair of XO Sevens Turtle Beaches. Hmm. Well, I could get two pairs of these for that same price, and then my wife right. gets a pair. I get a pair. They sound really good for the price. I mean, ninety bucks. They sound really good. Yeah. The the mic is nice and compact. It fits right in here. You can't even hardly see it. How light is it? It's not. It's very light uh, compared to the Turtle Beaches. It's like half the weight of the Turtle Beaches. I don't. Know, I, I kind of like. I kind of like heavy headsets. They feel more sturdy on my head. I don't like them heavy. I. It's like comfort is really important. It's like how good they sound. Is like it's irrelevant if it's an uncomfortable headset. They're pretty yeah. mushy. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I kind of like them fitting sturdy on my head. Like um, these are X thirty twos, and like I'm not using really really using these much because like. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I kind of like just using. I kind of. I don't mind using the communi- communicator really, but like, I will eventually get the adapter, and then I'll start using this again more often when I get the adapter, yeah. so I can just use the chat cable. I still yeah. haven't used the communicator because I'm too competitive when it comes to first-person shooters that I need to have my ability to hear what's going on. I use that. What's the my communicator? Oh, you're talking about the 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 X. The, the little Xbox? plastic yeah. thing that comes with it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually a lot better than the ones. So, like, oh, yeah, it's like, a lot, it, it looks a lot nicer, too. It looks a lot nicer. I can actually hear people through the speaker on this thing. Well, I'll I'll tell you what. People who are using it sound sound just fine. They sound yeah. just fine. Yeah, yeah. they sound yeah, really no good. No problem. Yeah. So, so well, I've, been using, I've been using this mostly, not my headset. Because, like, I don't know. Because, like, with Titanfall, I don't really need the, uh, I don't really need the sound advantage. In yeah. Titanfall, so. Well, you know what? Sound whoring is not as big in Titanfall. The only, like, like Nova, you said, the only thing that's that's useful is that you can hear somebody get on your Titan before yeah. the notification. Well, that's I, the only thing because it's so noisy. Well, I can hear when something is happening down the road, and I can know what's happening just based off of sound. That's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, audio is a big thing to me. Yeah, what's well, way more important in other games than it is in Titanfall, I think. Yeah, because the, the thing with Titanfall is there's all the grunts, so it's kind of hard to tell the difference between grunts shooting and normal people shooting. But yeah. the way you know is grunts like burst fire and single fire. People don't do that. So 
Yeah, That's they spray. You know what? The the guns are pretty accurate. It's like They're there's not a lot of recoil. Yeah, yeah, it's like compared to a lot of games, these are pretty easy to use. Well, yeah. it's kind of just going with the whole Call of Duty gunplay, which is fine. The only is, thing actually, I, I think, like I think there's more recoil in, in a lot of Call of Duty guns than there are in Titanfall. Which isn't bad, though, as long as it's balanced, which it is. Yeah. I haven't played a Call of Duty in years, uh, like, since Modern Warfare 2. Uh, cause it's just really? Competitive. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a Call got, of Duty got, person anymore. Got bored with it, huh? Yeah, it's just the same game over and over again. Anyone who says different, wrong. <laughs> oh, no, I... <laughs> I mean, you can't put out a game every twelve months and not. Ex- it's going to be this. It, it, I agree. Yeah. It's it's the same game. Well, I mean, Halo. It's like okay, they change a few things, but it's still Halo. Halo it's is like it's turning substantially. into. Halo's doing kind of the same thing, and I'm kind of upset with that. And, well, um, like, but but even even with Halo Four, a lot like they improved, and it's and it's, it's never annual. It's always like at least like yeah. three part. Yeah. Halo Four. Yeah. They did a great job with the gunplay. They didn't do a great job with. The map design, in my opinion, was boring. Uh, the, on, the only good cute. map, the graphics were great. They did a great job with uh, with a, with sound and visuals. Uh, the guns sound great. They sound badass. They sound like they can. Tear yeah, it was to like shred. it was scary the first time I shot a sword. Yeah, right. or or the uh, the chain gun on the on the warthog. That that thing sounds amazing, but the maps just didn't work. The it just turned into a repetitive kind of Call of Duty esque gameplay that wasn't fun anymore. Yeah, well, you know, it's also possible. You know, even though you love Halo, it's like at some point you kind of get your fill of something, even if something that's, that you like. Yeah, you just get. You know, it's like I've done that so much. It's like it's just not as satisfying yeah. as it used to be. Yeah. What I would really like is for Halo to completely change in in the way that its multiplayer is just to stay fresh. I want it to turn into a Battlefield like game, but Halo universe. I think that would be badass where it's like the campaigns in every Halo game look great. Everything is awesome. Things are going on all around you. I want those things to be real other people doing something different every time. So it's not just you are in an arena style map you're running around punching people and then you're just punching more people and shooting more people i want you to be able to pilot uh the hornets and all that i want all that to be in the game so i, I just want halo to change from what it is yeah so obviously we're all we're all pretty psyched about uh, uh titanfall so uh if you if you were to go back to another shooter which shooter would it be uh so if, you mean if I was to want to play another game other than yeah. Titanfall, Battlefield yeah. Four, probably Battlefield Four. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I, not I, Halo. Yeah, I, I have my fill in Halo anyways. I'm the max rank in Halo Four, so I don't even know what I am in Halo Four anymore. I'm probably close to the max rank. I don't really care. Halo yeah. Four wasn't good enough to care about. <laughs> 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 it, I think one of the main problems was uh, for replayability. Halo 3 was very replayable because of Forge and custom games. Same with Halo Reach. It kind of got less fun in Halo Reach for whatever reason. But uh, they didn't do anything with Forge and Halo 4. Nothing new. I mean, they had that Forge world or whatever the fuck it was. Forge Island. Forge Island. It was just this huge map with three boring islands that had nothing on them that you can build small maps on because it's the Xbox 360 and you can't build too much. So it's just Forge didn't do it. There was no human air vehicle, so there were so many game types that you couldn't do because of that. You couldn't have, like, human versus covenant sort of things because you can't play as an elite. There's just uh, there's a lot of things missing from Halo 4 that make it so that it you can't go back to it. Yeah. So what do you think about Halo 5 on the Xbox One? We don't know much about it. Yeah, we don't know anything about it. <laughs> Nothing. So, Not so obviously pictures. they'll have a lot more resources yeah. with the next-gen yeah. console. So what you're talking about is like they should they should have something amazing. They right? should be able to make Forge great. It should be Insane. better than that like Project Spark thing that's in beta right now. It should be you could you should be able to do almost anything. And if you can't, 
I'm going to be extremely disappointed. Yeah, yeah. Rumors so what do you are, think? There, and there's there's lots of rumors about what Halo Five is going to be turning into. Like it, like like they're saying like it's going to be like basically kind of like go in the same direction Destiny is like trying to like uh, like exploration like like a uh, like like a kind of like a main single player kind of focus kind of thing you're going for. But when you say that, do you mean just the single player or competitive multiplayer is um, going in the same for, direction? For, for, as far as I know, like when it comes to single player, they want to change it up so that like like something it kind of like uh, people like like and these are just rumors that are coming out like that, that they're trying to develop it kind of like Mass Effect the way Mass Effect works like, yeah. like, like where you go to multiple planets and you kind of do stuff at each planet and apparently well, that, Mass- I I would like that, but I would like it more if it was multiplayer. Kind of like, like Destiny. Yeah. <laughs> now everybody's pretty excited about Destiny, but uh, it lo- it looks like it'll be fun. But it, it just seems to me like a real life version of a uh, Borderlands what? kind of life version of Borderlands. Yeah. Well, I well, mean, it's like well, Borderlands is cartoony. Yeah, like, this will be kind of like a. You, like, you mean like sci-fi Borderlands, basically? Yeah, sci-fi it's, Borderlands. I ha- I hate when people compare it to Borderlands. Like 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 the only thing that has similar to Borderlands is that like you just collect shit. First person yeah, yeah, looter. For, yeah, 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 but like uh, a looter. First person not, looter. <laughs> yeah, but a looter's not even a genre. It's, it's just a first person RPG, and that's what I mean. Yeah. That's what Borderlands is, and like Borderlands is the only thing like that's even remotely a, a first person shooter that's an RPG. But well, we freaking, still don't really know much about Destiny either, and that's well, kind of strange. Well, well, no, we know a lot more about Destiny, than, like you like like it's like like kind of shared because like. Bungie does like weekly like updates on their website, and I kind well, of. What do you know about Destiny that we don't know? Well, I mean, like it's a lot of exploration, a lot of customization. Um, it, it, yeah, it, I think everybody knows that, though. Well, we know what's in the game to an extent, but we don't know how the game is going to play, and we can't know until they show us like a twenty-minute thing of someone playing, kind of like before any Battlefield game releases. They 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 have like a twenty minute trailer of one of the missions. I think yeah. they need to do that so that we can see exactly what happens. Not one of those scripted events where they keep playing the same thing and showing us that over and over again, because that's not showing how flexible the game could be. That's just showing that you're gonna fight through the damn bridge thing or whatever that that trailer was. The damn. And you're gonna illuminate the area, kill a bunch of enemies, and then some ship is gonna come, and you're gonna shoot at it. We don't know. It, it, that makes it seem very linear. It makes it seem like there's not gonna be that much of an open world aspect to it. It's, everything is gonna be scripted. I'm hoping that's not the case. That that trailer didn't impress me, and it kind of makes me worry that the game is gonna be like that. Oh, really? Trailer. When I saw the trailer, I was blown away by the way it looked. It looks just... it looks great. It, it, graphics are great, but it just looks like the, the trailer represented something that was different well, from like, what they were trying to sell uh, vocally. Well, well, that event though they explained is one of random is is a random event that will happen. It's it's not like guaranteed that will like always happen every time you go there. Like yeah. actually, you know, all those players being together, that, like like in the full release of the of Destiny, like that those will be like kind of random events that will happen that will bring because like the way to explain is like like when you go off and like you actually play the game, you can bring two friends with you. And you're like a trio, and so 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 it's basically like a party system. So so, so wait, like, you can't have more than three because I got more well, than three friends. Well, I but no, <laughs> just like just like for for going out and like doing missions together, three. Oh, that's kind of upsetting. I, but it's but 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 that's not the only, like but like that's not like the only time you can just play with just like like you can't just like um try to explain this better. Can you explore with as many people as you want? Um. I think so, but I I, th- I think just for like for actually like going off to do missions and, and like and like that kind of like kind of like kind of like what we saw in that demo trailer like three people, but like for actually just going around. You mean three people total, or you and three people? No, just like like three people total. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, I don't right. know how I feel about that. That's I don't know, but, not enough. Uh, that's that's, not a, that's enough. another thing. We'll have to. They need to release a long video clip of them playing. They need to show how an average day of playing Destiny is going to be like. Well, that'll uh, take. Well, it'll be a long. If you're waiting for that, you're going to be waiting a long time. Yeah, you're I know. Gonna have so, a no, lot more hype. Here. Well, it's yeah, but there's going to be a lot September. more trailers and hype before we get okay. to that level. Well, and E3 is just around the corner, so there's going to be a, 
a, a probably a lot about Destiny reveal. Well, it. Yeah, but it won't so. be like that. It'll be more just like this is like to blow you away. More stuff just to blow you away and get you like salivating. Well, no, well, yeah. later. That was last year's E3. That's what they did. But like usually, like the year of that game's release at E3, they show a lot more of the game. Yeah, they'll, well, we'll hype, they'll hype it more. What I got yeah. from what they've put out so far is that. They, it seems like they are trying to show the game as something that it's not. Like, they have what they've explained the game to be, and then they have the game. And I, it just looked like they were, they were two separate things. Like, it looked like they were trying to tell us that the game plays like this, and then in the game, it seemed like they were just trying to act out what they want you to think the game is like. It, right. it just seemed fake. Well, 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 the marketing people are gonna like they're gonna they're gonna spin it however they think will will generate the most excitement. Yeah, exactly. Well, no matter how the game actually plays, they're like the marketing people. They no, 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 we don't want to play that up. This is what we want to play up. Just that's like, why I want to see the twenty minute video of <coughs> just uncut gameplay with a bunch of friends playing. Well, so what we saw is, last, but, but but the last like the last like legit gameplay we saw was like literally from it like an entire year ago. Like it's been like almost twelve yeah. months. So like obviously they're going to have a lot more in store for the, like yeah. you know the next time they show off their game. Now, does anyone know if Destiny is going to be like if they're if they're going to favor one platform over the other? Um, no, it's uh, it's all it, it, it's multi platform, but like multi. some some Sony's getting slight like some exclusive shit though, just like some just like well, big, I think Xbox One is getting some exclusives too. I think yeah, everyone's uh, just getting their own exclusive. Yeah, I mean, which is that's weird. Explain it, but like, I don't like that at all. But 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 Activision, <laughs> it's like, yeah, but like it, it, it doesn't. Well, act. that's like if you pre-order something from GameStop, you get this bo- bonus, and if you pre-order yeah. it from Amazon, but it you doesn't get really that affect bonus. anything though. Really, everybody gets a bonus. It's just a different bonus. Yeah, that, that's another thing. Uh, you know how everyone's kind of moving to digital download, and yeah, I yeah. want to move to digital download because it's easy. How do you get those pre-order bonuses if you, you can pre-order don't. on digital download? Yeah, they're gonna send you a they're gonna send you a poster over the internet <laughs> that you can hang on your well, wall. Well, not like the poster, <laughs> just, no, you know, he, well, he the DLC, like, he's they, like they DLC. Use, yeah. The well, I mean, like in-game add-on. Yeah, DLC basically. Yeah. Like, w- when Halo email. Four, when Halo Four came out, if you pre-ordered from GameStop, you got a certain armor set. If you pre-ordered from Best Buy, you got a different armor set. Right. If you pre-ordered from Xbox Live Marketplace and then downloaded it day one, what do you is are they going to have just, something? It, it would probably just download with whatever bonus it offers if it offers a bonus. Like because like the, the the retailers may be the only maybe the only places that offer bonuses because that's what retailers do. Like if I if I'm buying Halo from Xbox, I doubt they're really going to want to add anything else because like it's I'm buying it straight from Microsoft, you know. So well, that that gives you no incentive to do it that way. Yeah, it's like, I'm hey, not if I'm going to get that. a bonus if I go to GameStop, why the fuck would I do it over the internet? Like, I don't want the discs anymore. But if if I have to take the disc to get extra stuff, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I probably would too. Yeah. Now, how did you get Titanfall? Did you buy the disc or did you? I bought download? the disc. I pre-ordered it like a year ago. I got the disc. Uh, so did uh, I. So did even, I. even though there wasn't any additional, well, I got a poster. Yeah, I got the yeah. I can't yeah, I got the poster. I, I didn't get you know, the poster because I, I got the disc. I got the disc, but you know what's annoying is like I didn't realize how much I like the digital thing. It's like because now if I want to play the game, I have to like fucking put the disc in. It's like oh god damn it, I have yeah. to get the discs. That's the only game I have <laughs> that I have to actually get the disc. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have also, to in there. Uh, yeah, I do too. But Xbox, uh, Xbox One. It's obvious that the software is kind of favoring downloadable games rather oh, yeah. than discs because whenever I put a disc in, sometimes it, it fails to read the disc and it's like if you own this game, go to oh, Xbox yeah. Live Marketplace yeah. and put the disc in. Well, I get that all the time and it's, do like, you own this game? it's like punching me in the face for not getting it digitally. Well, it's well, really annoying. <laughs> well, you gotta remember though, the, the original plan was like if you bought a disc, you put it in never had to put it in again. Yeah. I, I so, so that. The it should be like that. We should have like done. That. We should have went with the, their original plan. The original plan sounded so much better. Yeah, I don't know why everyone flipped the shit over it. Oh yeah, it would have. It would have been like a. You know, they people were were like losing their shit when. They, I know, when but they it would have been so much better for everybody because oh, like it yeah. probably it's like you should been better. Because it's not worth your money to buy an Xbox or, or, or basically my. But Xbox see, now if you get tired of Titanfall, you can take your disc down the street and trade it in. 
If you bought it digitally, you couldn't do that. For 40 bucks. If you go to GameStop, you can get 44 bucks for it. Well, then yeah, but that's right for a limited, limited like, 30 days. What, what yeah, happened after right. that? You get, like, $2 back. Now. Like, fuck that. It's fine. Yeah, and, like... And, no. like like, then, like, those, those kind of people that trading games often can do, but like, buy games on this that they're not certain of, but buy games digitally that they are certain of. You yeah. know? Yeah. 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 And you can loan it for to your buddy. You can take it over to your friend's house. Yeah, but like, leave it there as a way, whatever. I mean, like, I bought it digitally, so too bad. Like, that's that's how that's how that would have to be. Like, if I bought this, sure, you could borrow it. Well, if you went over to a friend's Xbox, you could still play it. You'd have to download it from yeah. the internet to your account. It would be on his, his Xbox One. But when you left, he couldn't play it. Yeah, had, yeah, which worked fine. And and also they were talking about freaking giving game like like I could like say if I bought Titanfall digitally, nobody didn't buy it. I was never planning on playing the game again. I could send him the game. I just wouldn't be able to play it myself ever again, unless I rebought the game. But he would have it. They were planning on doing that. Right. Like that would have been the wait. Would uh, would I be able to send it what, in the original plan? Okay. If you sent it to me, could I okay. not send it back to you? you? Yeah, you cannot send it back. It's yours from now. It seems like, like you should be able to send it whenever you want and if well, like, you have sent it they don't want people just to, to, to like like one person who can afford it buy the games and like just send it off to their friends whenever and just well, like, if i buy a game and all my friends didn't buy it i could give it to one friend i won't be able to play right but neither will my 14 other friends just that one person then but they still want the incentive for people to buy it so because so, like cause people I are going like, to buy it because they're going to want to play together well, well, some my friends want like, to play with me. They don't want to just play the game that I own. But that that, that that's not how the that's not how the marketers think. They they well, want as many people to buy the game, but they also at, but they also at the same time want people to uh, be oh, happy. Oh yeah, it's definitely well, they're, 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 so that would have been the compromise GameStop. right there. I would have been perfectly happy with that. Like a game I did download that I hated and someone else wanted, I would give it to them and that's it. I, I, if you're Activision or Ubisoft or it's EA and agreed. you see. You see the, all this action happening at GameStop, and you're not getting any piece of the pie. It's like, man, that pisses me off so bad. It's like there's all this buying and selling going on, our game, and they're we're not getting even a taste of it. So, you know, it's like... They're greedy. <laughs> they're fucking greedy pigs, man. Well, I feel like the internet wouldn't have freaked out with the Xbox's original plan if you could give, uh, like, if you could just loan a game uh, as many times as you want, uh, maybe set a time like uh, I'm loaning this game to this person for seven days. For the um, seven days, I cannot play it, and he can. Then he, for those seven days, he could also loan it to someone else for less than that. And then you could just one person at a time can play. I would still buy a game. I would buy every game that I was planning to play. I wouldn't just give my games to other people because I want to play. That's you though. Well, yeah. who would just buy games and then not want to play them? I mean, there's no are, one out there that buys games just to be like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna give okay, friends okay, games. But, okay, but but there are people <laughs> who buy games because they can afford it, don't play them very often, and let their friends borrow them a lot. Yeah, yeah but, the, but so that's gonna happen with this. Well, well, Steam Steam is a system that works, and and Xbox was basically gonna be Steam. Yeah, basically, yeah. And nobody nobody says shit about Steam. Everyone okay. loves Steam. Well, everybody well, loves Steam. Well, that's because like people buy out. PC and know what they're getting into. It, 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 like more than anything, the DRM is what scared people. You're like, oh, I want to be able to use my Xbox when the internet goes out. But, yeah, but like the DRM was so that you're right. But right like there. okay, but, but 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 more than the fact of like okay, my internet's going out. Like eventually your internet will come back. Okay, so 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 that wasn't really the people who were affecting the people who were like it was actually going to affect people who just don't have internet or don't connect your constant internet. But like, you should not buy a PS4 or an Xbox One if you don't have internet, anyways. Really? Or to get internet? <laughs> like, who, do you, who do you who do you know who doesn't have their 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 console connected? Oh, it's I like, know plenty of Sasquatch. <laughs> no, because I live, I live yeah, this of, like really like kind of. Hey, slash. Joel, we're doing bulletproof underwear right now. I'll call you back. All right, see ya. Wait till I finish. <laughs> so, so I, I live in a kind of place where a lot, like, like I'm, like, the most hardcore gamer probably in my community, besides yes, besides people that, like, live, I mean, not live, but like, besides people who work at GameStop, like, they're pretty, like, you know, invested because they work at GameStop and they're big gamers, kind of like me. But besides those people, like, I'm probably, like, the most invested gamer probably in my community. Um, But, like, 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 but there's a lot of people I know that uh, just like own like old systems or a 360 and just play single player games on it. And like, but those kind of people, the Xbox One's not meant for, you know, or, yeah. or like, it's just, 
Uh, but like, 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 don't buy a five hundred dollars system if you're just gonna play single player game. That's not really like, right. It's a media. You know it's a fucking media center, you know. But you know what? Really. Drifter did do a video a few weeks ago talking about uh, the people that that buy games that most people you think of as multiplayer games, right? But there is a there's more people actually playing like like Call of Duty, for example. Yeah, so I actually told Nova about. I think this. of it. He it was using Call of Duty as an example. It's like I think of Call of Duty as a multiplayer game. And it's like, and they just sort of throw in the campaign, but the, more people than than play the multiplayer play the campaign, and they never even go online. I, right. I like, heard something. And he had like numbers that, that, that back that up. I heard that thirty percent of all gamers never go online. I didn't hear that more than uh, online gamers play. Single player well, game. anyway, look at look it up. Drifter made a video about it, and uh, you know he uh, he backed it up with numbers from here and there. Well, and it's like there are there are people that do that. Well, yeah, I, I've, I've talked. I have a few sort of like acquaintances in my school that <laughs> never they're 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 just they don't really care about playing games. Like it's not a big part of life. Gamers. Yeah, they're very casual, so they just play. They don't want to play. They don't want to pay for Xbox Live because that's fifty dollars. However often you got to pay for that, I don't even know. Uh, so they just play single player games and that's fine but I don't think that's the majority of gamers I think I, I heard a number well that really 30%. is the majority of gamers like, uh, 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 a majority of gamers in the whole are single player gamers like that now a majority of people uh, so, so like the, the number I gave you was like so like I think it was like 30% of people who bought like the last like or like I think it was Black Ops 2 like 30% like, 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 like out of all the numbers of people who like purchased the game Call of Duty like thirty percent of them, I think, never signed on Xbox Live because, like, because they can tell how many people play the game. Yeah, and they can tell how many people and, and, and the they, game. people bought the game. Like, yeah. like, game online bought the game, and there's like a thirty percent difference. So, do you think that really hurts a game like Titanfall? I think it probably does. Well, it, yeah, probably it because there's no yeah. single player yeah. elements it's marketed for though. Like, you know, like as, 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 long, as, long as what do you think about what do you think about this? Campaign. That's yeah. like the lamest fucking thing in the. Why did they even bother? I, People, just okay. to get those thirty percenters. <laughs> well, it's just, it's, well, no, it's, not it's, even because, like, because, like, because this shit says on the cover, multiplayer requires, only requires Xbox Live Gold. So no, yeah, people who are in silver aren't buying this now. The reason why I think they added it because you know uh, they were trying to figure out the best. They were probably trying to figure out the best way to include the story into the normal multiplayer. Yeah, let's have some kind of story, no matter how lame it is. Well, no, obviously. Well, I, I couldn't even follow it. I didn't even give yeah, a shit. I didn't give a shit. I don't think that's the mindset they were in when they end up making this because, like, because like they're t- like like the way they like were trying to explain it, like I guess like during like the original E three shit last year is like every match will kind of have story into it, but I feel like they couldn't figure it, out a way to make that work. They, right. they didn't live up to that. So each match would be like its own mini story. Yeah, yeah. I, I expected there to be something more to that. I than, expected than they one game, the outcome of the first game, to affect the story of the second game yeah it's so like on. win or lose you just go on to the well, next one it well, just yeah. doesn't matter well, you got nine you got nine games and then you turn around and do nine games from the other side and boom yeah. you, you've done it and, and it's really Wee! dumb that you have to do that to unlock yeah the ogre and strider because in a few months no one is going to be playing the damn campaign because they finished it they're never going to touch it again i'm never going to touch the campaign again yeah there's no and point. we own those damn achievements too so we're never going to touch those again yeah so i'm never going to touch the campaign again how are new players going to find campaign matches if no one's playing it they're just going to be with like the three other new players that happen to be on at that point in time what will happen is you'll sit in lobbies for a really really long yeah, time yeah you'll be in matchmaking for an hour to find one match it's, it's going to take you like a month to complete this nine mission campaign. Yeah, oh. twice. <laughs> twice, yeah. Oh well, the Atlas is okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck with the Atlas. But, but what I th- but like 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 the way they explained it though, like like after that the, the initial E3 the one they made everybody like you know come in their pants. But like 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 they were saying like like, like there's going to be story in Titanfall without having a campaign, and, and what right I, and what I think they had in, had in mind was that like 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 like, like kind of like what. Kind of like what Assassin's Creed does with their multiplayer, like because I I know you've played a little bit Nova, Assassin's Creed multiplayer. So like what yeah, Assassin's yeah. Creed does is like so after you complete enough like matches and you're enough you're yourself up enough, you get kind of like cutscenes and stuff that you can just rewatch. So I think they want to do something like that, but like within the actual match. So like 
every match, like you're more level up or something more, like your pilot progresses, something like that, the story kind of unveils, kind of like what Assassin's Creed does. But I bet they couldn't like figure out a way to make it work right with normal multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'm so they probably in have Titanfall like, well, too. They'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, and Titanfall too. They'll probably figure out how to make it work better. So like they're probably like, well, shit. We, well, like we promised story. We can't just release this game without some way to get the story conveyed. You know? I feel like this game, the entire game of Titanfall is more or less a demo of what's to come in the future with future games. I feel like this is the this is the least amount that we're going to get out of a Titanfall game in the future. This is like the basics, and they're just going to build on top of the yeah, game. Yeah, and I'm perfectly fine with that, because like, I feel like they spent more time more than anything else perfecting this core gameplay. Yeah. Titans and pilots and parkour all balance. Yeah, and like, it's not like, 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 just future off. games. They're just going to add more stuff. Yeah, because c- c- like they're, they're they're comparing like 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 Titanfall to like oh this game has a lot less content compared to Call of Duty. Well, Call yeah. of Duty fuck, Call of Duty's had this shit down since Call of Duty Four. They don't yeah. work on their gameplay very much. They work on adding new guns and aesthetics and campaigns. Yeah, it's the same yeah. gameplay, so they don't have to. Like, work like on this it. is their first game. They've been working on getting the gameplay to work first. Yeah. Right. Right. So. Well, you know that uh, Titanfall Two is going to be huge. It's yeah. going to be yeah. fucking it's huge. Twice as good because, like, now they have the core gameplay down. It's going to look amazing because, like, because it won't be previous gen and next gen. It'll be pure next gen. It's going to look yeah. twice as good. It's going to. I play hope it's not itself. on the Source Engine. I mean, the Source Engine is good, but it's too old. Too old for a next gen game. I don't know. I think the game plays great. I don't see any reason to change the engine. Well, it, well it no, plays. for appearance it's, sake in the future, because our standard is going to be higher by the time Titanfall 2 comes out because of games like Battlefield and Crisis. Now, we're not going to want a source game because you can tell that the animations are somewhat subpar. Like, uh, because well, it looks talking. like a 360 game. It really it does. does. It, 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 I was telling my friends who don't have Xbox One, if you want this game, you don't need an Xbox One. There's no point to buying an Xbox One for this game. Even though but tons of people did that, it sold a lot of Xbox Ones, it was kind of dumb of them to do that. If you weren't going to buy an Xbox One... Shitty on 360. Well, we don't know that. We don't know, we don't know how well the 360 version is going to play. Yeah, I mean, it might it, be I'm going to assume okay. it's going to play the same because it's such an old engine, but I might be wrong. We'll see April oh, okay. 8th. Are, are there going to be as many AI in the game probably like, not, probably not. And, and they're probably gonna do a battlefield like battlefield 3 did on 360 and like section off maps on size probably well the maps aren't very big the maps aren't that big but like think about everything else they have to include on the map so titans ai like and on the maps of monsters you already do get some frame stutter yeah and on Xbox, yeah. I mean, you do get frame stutter on on, on xbox yeah One. i it's think like that's annoying. i think that's gonna just be patched though i don't think that's a yeah, on Xbox that's One, I, I bet it could be patched and fixed, but I, I doubt on 360, unless they make some big changes to the actual game itself, that it won't run it, like run well. So yeah. yeah, And, you know, they've been really, really, really quiet about the 360 version. They pushed yeah. it back. Yeah. They pushed it back, and we haven't it's seen like they're a, not, any gameplay of it. I think no, they, they just haven't shown shouldn't anything. have had a 360 Yeah, they version. shouldn't have. Uh, it's a good thing that they gave it to another developer team and development team to that task because it prevented them from getting distracted but the fact that there is still an old gen release date for a next gen or sort of next gen game it's just pointless they shouldn't have done it it would have sold more xbox one if they didn't have and everyone knew that there wasn't going to be another way of getting the game other than pc right well you were talking about ea we're talking about one of the yeah. greediest you know, game companies out there. Yes, they want to sell to everyone. Yeah, and it's a miracle that Xbox was able to get an exclusive. They must yeah, have I don't paid know a how fortune. They because the, like the, the, because I because I bet EA probably didn't have like like I know this may sound like coming from EA, but I bet between all of EA's developers, they didn't have probably a lot of resources to give to Respawn at the time when they made this deal worked out. Because like okay, because because think about it, how many developers do EA publish a shit ton, and yeah, like their yeah. stu- and their studios are huge. And Respawn's only like sixty guys. So like so 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 they probably like okay we want to make this game but you we need to figure out some way to get you money besides us because we're kind of strapped because we're funding Battlefield Four and fucking all this other shit too. So prob- well they got a they got a li- nice tasty little cash infusion from Microsoft. I'm yeah sure. exactly oh, and, yeah. That fu- and that funded fucking Titanfall basically. So so there's only this little bitty team working on Titanfall. So what about Titanfall Two? Is it going to come out in a year? Is it going to come out in two years? Uh, I'm, I'm going to guess after two the to success three of this years. game. 
I'm assuming that the, the development size, the development team size, will probably double. Oh yeah, it will. Because but like, I'm still gonna yeah. say two to three years. I don't think there uh, Titanfall's at the point that it's gonna be a yearly thing. No. It might eventually become one, and I hope it doesn't because that ruins games. But uh, it uh, for Titanfall two is probably gonna take two to three years. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're probably right, and it's, it's going to be like the biggest selling game ever when it comes out. Cause yeah. it's gonna th- they say it's going to come out on on PlayStation. Oh yeah, um, oh, I, yeah. I, I I forgot to mention this, or I was about to mention this, but like, um, I saw some reports that like the exclusive the exclusivity on Titanfall ends with this version, like with Titanfall One. Like 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 right. the, like there are reports on that. Like it's not absolutely confirmed yet, but it's most likely it'll be on PlayStation. That's fine. I don't really give a shit. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I have it on PlayStation so that like even more money goes to Titanfall, so they can keep making yeah. it better. Yeah. Well, you know, like a lot of PlayStation people, whenever you see videos like uh, Titanfall videos, it's like there's always in the comment section like tons of people like the, like dissing Titanfall, and they're always PlayStation, you know, fanboys. And they're all gonna get Titanfall too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're all just of a sudden, pretending that oh, I don't want to parkour and shoot things and have giant it's robots. It's just Call Fuck of Duty with mechs. Fuck yeah. that. It's like, it's like. Besides, I'll just get it on PC. Yeah, right. Yeah, you ha- you have a good enough PC. That's why you're buying consoles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's okay. I'll just get it on console. But how many or PC? How many people actually did that? <laughs> yeah. And the I PC just about Titanfall, I think, is having a lot of problems too. I, I, or maybe it, they fixed them now, but they were having well, a lot of uh, frame rate they're having, issues. They're having like a lot of DMR issues through Origin. Yeah, I can see that. Well, people don't like Origin. I don't <laughs> like Origin. Because Origin tries to be Steam, but 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 with an orange color palette. And and least. without the sales. <laughs> without the sales. <laughs> so, it's just yeah. a more expensive Steam that's less organized and dumb. Yeah. Yeah, and fucks with Battlefield like on console. <laughs> oh god, they, they have to deal with Battlefield. I mean, uh, on Origin with Battlefield Four on console because of the way that shit works. Hate it. So uh, Nova, do you play any uh, any games on a PC? Do you have a heavy duty PC? Uh, I'm running a. Uh, it's a MacBook Pro, uh, the most recent MacBook Pro, but it's got Boot Camp, and it runs most games pretty well. It's pretty beefy for a laptop <laughs> but uh i i play some pc games I, I i don't really go all out on pc games like i do with console games just because keyboard and mouse though it is the mouse seems to be superior for aiming the keyboard is too awkward for me because you can't with a keyboard if you press forward you are going to go forward at that speed just instantly you can't like stutter your speed. You can't slow down. You can't walk slow. Well, get one of those little, those little, uh, you know, peripherals, the little, little thumbstick. Like uh, you want the fucking hold a joystick with my left hand and a mouse in my right hand. Yeah, Ooh. what I have uh, right now is let's see if I can show it. I have the Razer, uh, no, uh, fucking a strong, I don't know. What and it's and it has a thumbstick on it, right? It has a like a bit of an analog thing, but it's still click forward, click backward, click left, click right. It's not, there's no, like, sort of forward. There's no creeping. You can't, like, you can't go slow. It's just, oh, it's, you're there. You're there. Yeah. You're and there. It, it may not affect your infantry combat that much because you tend to just go forward, backward, left, right. You don't really care how fast you're going, uh, aside from sprinting and not sprinting. But in vehicles, it's a, it's a pain in the ass to just be going full speed or no speed. And then you just tap. You have to tap all the time. It, it just doesn't work. But the mouse is superior for aiming, definitely. But the keyboard is not superior for gaming. So it's, it's, it's awkward. The controller, in my opinion, is just overall better for competitive gaming. Well, if you're used to it like I am, you yeah. know, it's just feel, I, I, tried, I tried playing Left 4 Dead with, uh, with the keyboard and mouse, and it just like, Ugh! Yeah. It drives me crazy. You know, you know, you know what? I can't wrap my head around sometimes. Like when I think about it, but like, like PC games, like playing games on your personal computer has been like the lo- the oldest way to been like playing games before consoles came out. You know, it's so like why hat why hasn't there been some kind of like per, per it's like some new kind of peripheral that's not a controller that's not a keyboard meant for PC gaming? Like, like well, I, I think like, that's what Steam was trying to do with that 
controller, that weird. I know, uh, uh, like but, that weird thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it was done earlier, or like, or maybe like adopted earlier, or something like, I don't know, like like, like that controller was just kind of weird and kind of bad. So are you yeah. are you like looking forward to someday getting your hands on one of those weird Steam controllers and trying no. it out? No. Well, I'll try it out, but I'm not gonna buy I'm it. Not, yeah, I'm not gonna buy one. <laughs> like I'm gonna, I'll go to the mall. I'll go to some like Microsoft store, and they'll have it on presentation. Because they want you to buy a computer, so I'll try it there. Mm-hmm. And if if I don't absolutely love it immediately, I'm not going to bother with it. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it'll be the greatest thing since sliced bread. I mean, it's yeah. like it's interesting. It could I, it could be amazing. We don't know yet. I can imagine one day <laughs> freaking like like Valve like getting so big that like they even have their own like Microsoft and Apple stores, but like for Steam basically. Did you see the rumors for yeah. Amazon's controller? No, they they're coming no, out no. like they're. It looks like it could be fake, but they. It, oh, I saw it. I saw it. It looks the blocky. Ugliest it's the ugliest controller ugly. I have ever seen. It's like you're it holding looks like an a Xbox box. controller with, that's been turned into a box. Yeah, it, it's it's a weird hybrid between the Xbox One controller, a PlayStation controller, and a box. <laughs> and it's <laughs> it just looks like the most uncomfortable thing to hold. And then it's got like a. Like three buttons on the bottom. It's like uh, for like watching videos. There's a play and a pause button, and then a stop button. It just doesn't make any sense because you could the Xbox controller. You could watch stuff with it, and you could pause by using normal buttons. You don't need three more buttons on the bottom. It's just so ugly. And, and even with your Xbox, you have Connect now. <laughs> yeah, I could just say pause. Yeah. And oh, it, you know what? I bought the uh, I bought the remote control. Uh, when I when I got that thing, I got the Xbox One remote control. What is the point of that? Yeah, well, because like, well, you know, I I what watch uh, Blu-rays. I watch Blu-rays sometimes on. Uh, it. And, and and also like like a good use for that would be like someone who like doesn't like use your Xbox and really play games. Well, if you I don't have my okay. TV connected to it, but you know a lot of people have their cable TV hooked up to it and stuff. You could change channels and all that with it. Yeah. But you know what? My Xbox is on the floor, down there, mm. like down there. Right. My Connect is right here. Guess what? When you want to use that stupid remote, it doesn't work pointing it at the connect. Oh really? You have to point it at the console. That is so fucking wait, stupid. It, wait, it's That's infrared. Weird. It's infrared. Doesn't it work like the freaking Xbox controller just connect wirelessly? No, no. Why? It's line of sight. It has to have a line of sight. It's fucking stupid. And it doesn't even work line of sight on the connect. You have to fucking point it right at the it's like it should how work stupid with the, that is. It's dumb. It, it, should, it should either work with the connect or just like work like an Xbox controller and wireless. Yeah. It should it should work like a like a radio signal like the Xbox controller, but yeah. it doesn't. It's it's like line of sight and it doesn't work on the fucking connect. That's it's lame. It is lame. It is stupid. How much I mean, was but, it? But, 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 but that's twenty five bucks. Anyways, though. Like, uh, l- like, let me show it to you. It's interesting though. It has one thing that's kind of cool. Hmm. <clears throat> Ugh. But no, but uh, <coughs> the controls are more meant for like, like for like someone like Amish's wife, though. You know, like it's so it's so pointless. I didn't even want it junking up my desk. I put it all off to the side. It's like, <laughs> okay, so here it is. Looks kind of cool. It's it's kind of cool. It has this really interesting round shaped back. And then the Xbox symbol on the top looks cool. And, and what else is kind of cool is like, okay, watch the light display on it. It's going to go down. Oh, that's cool. Right? It's go down. It's motion It's motion control. Like, if I shake it, oh, the lights come oh, on. I kind of wish our 360 controls would do that. The only thing yeah. with that is like, if, if you're sitting on a couch and you can't find the remote, and it's not lighting up because you're not holding it, it's kind of hard to find the remote. <laughs> you would think that there would be like a way to yeah. find it. It's got this really Xbox, interesting my remote, and then it beeps. rubbery sort of texture this is a it's an interesting texture but there's no writing on it at all nothing written down there's just like some symbols oh that's, that's annoying like confusing and annoying yeah and it's like uh. it's a waste it's a waste it's bullshit i i even know those exi- i did not even know those existed honestly i saw it when i was looking I into the uh the adapter uh, I, I knew i wasn't gonna need it uh, but I looked. Well, at you it. can't find those fucking adapters anywhere. I, I fucking I wish got I could lucky. Just, like cut this off or so, like this. You use this and make it an adapter. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Yep, I did that. Yeah, did that. Yeah, it's like here's uh, here's my uh, original one. It's like I I sacrificed 
you know the uh, yeah, communicator the, chat, the communicator thing it's like here we go and and there's a soldered jack on there now so I can oh. just use any, any normal headset with this and it works like a charm yeah but it I don't really, really have to know how to do that myself or like the, where to buy the jack well I didn't do it myself I got I got somebody else to do it for me who's good with soldering. <laughs> yeah, if I was to do that, I would go to my engineering teacher. He he loves projects like that. We don't do anything in the class, but he loves to fix things. Yeah. Well, you know, several people have done that. Uh, I, I still wanted the, the official adapter just in case this goes south on me because, you know, it is, like, wrapped up with electrical tape and, you know, it's, it's jury-rigged. Mm. But it works like a charm. It works. It does the trick. It does the trick. I would rather keep this anyways just in case something ever happened to my headset, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, you I, know. I keep my... I've got a bunch of spare, like, old uh, headsets from 360 time, like the 360 communicator. I just keep them in a box just in case I ever need it. You never yeah, because you know what? Sometimes your headset can go out. Yeah. Yeah, I had this weird thing happen once where I I, um, I actually had the same type of headset and I walked out of my room with it on and then like it like it, I heard really weird noise in my head and then like uh, like oh in the earphones and then like it stopped working and then I had to get a new, uh, had to get it replaced. Really? Wow! You yeah. must have walked into a different dimension in time and well, space. Like, or something. I, I guess it, like I guess I must have like it must have hit pick up some kind of strange wireless signal for one of my neighbors or something and then fried my headset. That's weird. So so, 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 so now yeah, I never so, so now I never take my headset outside my room with it on. <laughs> so. I used to have a headset. This was a few years ago. Uh, it I I don't remember what it was called, but it it was like a it was really big and it it had a nice texture on it and all that. It had the mix amp and whatnot, and it also vibrated whenever your controller would vibrate. It was kind of cool, kind of weird. Uh, but because it vibrated, it had this, like, really thin wire that came out of it that you couldn't replace. Like, it, you couldn't just unplug the wire. It was built into the headset. That wire would, like, get all tied up, and it would just... It, it eventually just broke off just from the vibration. So, it was, a, <laughs> it was like... It was a $300 professional headset. It was really good, great sound, very comfortable... But it yeah, just bro. had this wire that just was the dumbest part of it. It was this tiny little thing the size of your I hair. I've never heard of that headset. What the fuck brand was that? I don't remember. It was so long ago. Uh, it it had it was very convenient. Everything about it I liked a lot. Like the mix amp was I think it was like on the headset or on the wire or something. It, it wasn't like this big thing from the A forties, which I, I got used to this and it works for the uh of course, for PC, but it's kind of annoying to have a mix amp on the floor in the middle of your living room when you're playing on Xbox. Uh, so that's why I got the A50s. Uh, but yeah, it was all, it was very convenient, very well made, very comfortable, but it just, the wire was the crappiest thing I've ever seen. And the vibrate, it was so crappy that vibration made it snap. Wow. That must be weird, have the headset vibrate. It was weird at first. But then I just stopped noticing it to the point where it was kind of pointless. Uh, like you just, it doesn't give you the same kind of satisfaction that a controller vibrate or feedback. It would just like if the controller vibrated at all, your headset would vibrate along with it. You just stopped <laughs> noticing it really. So it was kind of a pointless feature. <laughs> that's that's pretty weird. I'm yeah. surprised that I'm surprised that you can't remember the name of it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna look for it again. I don't remember. I'll just search vibrating headset. <laughs> don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some weird, <laughs> weird get pictures. Some weird. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I was thinking uh, we, we've we gone on pretty long, and uh, and my poor wife has uh, been deprived of her of her brunch. You know, so, <laughs> so we should they probably... They stopped uh, serving breakfast. <laughs> 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 well, if if they have, I'm toast. I'm fucking a dead man. <laughs> anyway, it's free right now. What time is it right now? It's uh, eleven twenty three. Wow. You got you got a half hour. Yeah, yeah. I know. I got a you better hurry ass over there. <laughs> yeah, but finding parking now is gonna be gonna be a bitch. 
<laughs> if you get early bird, you can find a, find a good parking spot. So anyway, this has been this has been Bulletproof Underwear episode number ninety one. Yeah, yeah. Baby. <laughs> and of course, I am your co-host Yam Juice. I am your co-host Flex. And we'd like to thank our 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 guests for being on the show. T Gizzle four two three. Yay, he's a boss. Gizzle. He's a boss. And of course, Mr. Arik Nova, Mr. Thor Nova. Baby. <laughs> so I don't know. It's been a, it's been a little while, Nova, since uh, since you did this. I don't know. Yeah, you last uh, like August, I think. <laughs> yeah, this is a little while ago. It yeah. has been a while, so I don't know. Do you remember the thing that we do? No. You'll catch. You'll catch <laughs> on. You'll catch on. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I see your uvula. Oh my God! No wow. shit. Oh, that's so clever. Wow, that's a close. Jesus. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. enough. My eyes. That was weird. <laughs> that was yeah. Scary. Well, some that's things are like riding a bike. You know, I like having um, a webcam not built into my monitor or whatever. It's cool. It's fun. Hey, Nova, uh, have I actually showed you this yet? My battlefield poster. We. Uh, no, I don't think you have. That's cool. It's pretty fucking cool. Where'd you get that? Uh, my friend gave it to me. He was like, hey, I have a Battlefield poster. I don't like this game. You want it? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> cool. All right. So there's only one. one oh, uh, get, get your buddy Travis to get on our show. Casey, uh, yeah. T-Gizzle. Just, um, Casey, just, Casey, yeah. Just whenever, uh, because like he's looking to get VK, um, you know, out there. So like he's, he, you know, he, he would want to be on the show. Talk about VK and stuff. So just like next week, message him. Sometimes during the week, can be like, "Hey, want to come on the show?" And At schedule that point, time. Probably going to be released. Yeah. Next so week. like, yeah. So so next week, just message him sometime. Just uh, schedule time with him. Yeah, he can promote VK. It's a it's a new kind of toothpaste for uh, for gophers for people with. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, also, um, toothpaste for gophers. Also, get, <laughs> yeah, uh, a- get John on with them. All right. So, All right. Senior Flex. Oh. Senior Flex, let's do this thing. Or actually, before we go, uh, the, the, well, so a special idea we could have though. Next week, we could have like a like an entire VK like release BPU, like get uh, everybody who's involved in the staff. Have, um, that I would love that. I would, I would love that. That'd be phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Promote that with Casey and those other guys, and uh, see if and they want to we'll do, do it. it. We'll do it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like, like, like if it's not just Casey, then it could be all of us from VK, and then we can like make it a make it a thing. Yep. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. All so. right. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right.